Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw by the title of this video, I bought a car. I have a new key. I have a folder full of paperwork. And I'm just gonna say this, but I did not plan on buying a car like this month or any month right now. But something happened, which I'll get into later, uh, that made me completely just go to a dealership, buy a car, and just feel calm and at ease. And ultimately, I'm happy with my decision. So let's get right into it because this was my first time buying a car ever. The car that I currently have, you guys don't know, is a 2008 Honda Civic. He is completely busted up. I drive him to the ground, basically. <laughs> um, I've had two accidents with him. Um, he has like about 220,000 miles, I think, or 210 for all I know. Um, he's on his last legs. But that never stopped me from keeping and wanting to drive him. Like, of course, that, that car has issues, you know, like... Shh. Let's not get started <laughs> on it. Um, but there was one issue in particular that literally just forced me to get a new car. And it was scary. Um, I was going down the freeway on the 5 and I was merging onto the 10. And it had a curve. And I'm going there, you know, bumping my music, you know, acting like some bad bitch up in this hood, you know. Normal bullshit you know and um i noticed that the wheel was stiff when i was trying to um m move the wheel basically and that was scary that was so scary the wheel locking i don't know how to explain it but basically you don't want your wheel to lock when you're driving and merging into freeways that have curves. So that literally gave me a reality check of how much I shouldn't be driving my car anymore. So um, I remember calling Beb. I told them what had happened. I got off the freeway and I was like, I don't even want to drive this car anymore. I'm like, I don't want to do it. I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. And he's like, well, you have options. You can just drive it you know to the house or call triple a and i was like he's like whatever your call is he's like how's the wheel now because after i somehow managed to like freaking like i used so much force to like turn that wheel and it finally unjammed itself i was like it kind of became a little bit loose but i'm like i don't want to deal with this car right now and he's like just stay on the phone with me like put me on speaker and just drive home and i'll take a look at the car I get home and I literally just like, I don't even parallel parallel park the car anymore. I literally just kind of like swooped into the sidewalk and I put it on park and I got off. They was already outside waiting on me and he's like, what happened? I was just like, the wheel doesn't want to turn and he tried it out. He's like, oh my God, you know, it might need some fluids or some, maybe you're um steering wheel fluid pump broke you guys i don't even know and i told him you know what no i'm done i'm not investing in this car anymore i'm not trying to die in this car anymore and you know what i'm not doing it anymore at the point it was like it was no i was like no i literally ended up grabbing my phone and i went and looked up at the gaudi honda dealership that i have near alhambra near me and um, I remember searching them because I had been doing so much research on this car. I knew for like a while that I wanted a 2014 Honda Civic. I've seen it on one of my neighbors. It's so beautiful. I was like, this is beautiful. It's a nice upgrade, but it's not like insanely like expensive. So I knew I wanted this car. I knew I wanted it in this specific year, in this certain model. So I had been researching it. But with COVID going on and everything, no one really had the cars available. There was no photos available. There was almost nothing available. Um, I had gone previously with Bay to look at the car to test drive it as well, but we just couldn't do that because um, the cars were like locked up in a shop. No one was working. 
on anything on cleaning cleaning it detailing it to get it ready for sale so i don't know by what luck the car was available um to see with the photos and i was like i even i remember i was like that the car the car the photos are there i'm like i think we can go to the dealership and look at it and he's like are you sure He's like, maybe we can get a mechanic to come and look at it. You know, your dad is more. And I'm like, no, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not investing more money in this car. I don't want to think I'm going to die in this car anymore. The answer is no. I was like, no. So he's like, all right, you're cool. So we went and um, I got off and I was walking towards the used section of the Honda dealership. And I saw it on the corner of my eye. I was like, that's the car. That was literally me. I'm like, Beth, that's a car. He's like, you sure? I was like, yes, that's a car. I know that's a car. And <laughs> he's like, okay. And it was like this color right here. I thought it was ugly in photos. I was just like, I really wanted to go for like a black car. You get me? A black or a white one. Like, what's so hard about getting that? But anyway, it was that color. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like the color. And then I got near it and I thought it was so pretty. I was like, oh, it's actually not a bad color. I'm like, the photos make it look hideous, but it's not bad. And then Ben was like, well, look at this one. And they had a Nissan Juke that I wanted. But I remember watching the Gold Projects video about what happened with her Nissan and that it basically in all the Nissan cars. I was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with that crap either. I'm like, no, that's... I'm like, I love you, Juke, but the answer is no. And then they had Honda Accords. And I don't know if it's just a preference, but I think Honda Accords are hideous. They're hideous to me. I don't like them. So I was like, no, 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 no. And by the time we had like been looking around, and we were basically being ignored at the dealership. I don't know it's because we look like a pair of bums. Because literally, I told you, I just went to go pick up some glasses. And I was calling it a day. I was coming back home. and that is, But that ended up changing entirely. So anywho, uh, finally some guy pops out from behind us, scares the crap out of me. And he's like, oh, you're looking at a car. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, you don't want to look at new cars? I was like, no, we're not looking at new cars. The answer is no. And he's like, oh, okay. So I don't know if it's a thing that, you know, if you're not buying a new car, they're like not even looking at you or something, but who cares? He opened the car and immediately I noticed the amount of buttons this car had. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so intense. And Bay's like, that's nothing, Erica. Have, like, have you seen my car? I was like, yeah, but yours is a fancy car. I'm like, I'm talking about, I'm trying to upgrade. I'm like, like that's like, whoa. So I get in it. I'm like, it's nice. I'm used to this car. It's just upgraded. So then he's like, you want to test drive it? I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, I'll just need a driver's license. And of course, we're in COVID. So I'm wearing a mask. Bay's wearing a mask. The guy's wearing a mask. So um, he hops up on the passenger side and Bay um, goes in the back and I test drive it. And I was like, oh, this car is so smooth. I'm like, I don't have to put my foot in it. I don't even have to like break so hard for it to like, you know, start breaking. I'm like, the car is naturally doing this how it's supposed to. I'm like, you can just tell when you drive a newer car, the difference that, you know, your old car might have. So anyway, anyway, we go back after the test drive we park it and then they starts inspecting it you know man you gotta open the hood you gotta look at the details you gotta look at the cosmetic n nonsense going on and i'm thinking oh this is gonna be my car i don't care what Bay says i like this car this is gonna be my car so then the guy's like are you interested and i was like yes and he's like excellent let's go inside and let's talk numbers and i was like all right let's go talk some numbers and i knew i knew I knew they were going to pull my credit, my credit score. Because he's like, are you going to buy this car cash or are you going to finance it? And I was like, I'm financing it. So, yes, I financed my car. And he's like, okay, cool, let's go. He's like, um, we're going to have to fill out an application so we can know, you know, your credit score. You know, just get um, contact some banks and see what they offer us. Cool. When I tell you that application was like this long, the application was long. It's asking for your information. It's asking for your employer's information. It's asking for your gross income. It's asking for references, for relatives. And I was just like, what? Why is this necessary? It even asked for co-signers. He even asked, are you going to co-sign? I'm like, no. I don't go, mm -mm, no co-signing here. I'm like sole owner, sole everything. So then um, he asked me, oh, what do you want to do with your car? And I was like, oh, that's my dad's car. We're not, we're not touching that car because my dad gave me that car. And then I had called them and I told them, hey, dad, uh, I'm going to buy a new car. Do you want it back? He's like, give it back to me. I want it. It's for your mom. So, you know, that was the end of that. I'm not going to fight him because, you know, he did give me the car when I was 
you know, in college or almost out of or beginning college. So I've had this car for a minute. So anywho, he pulls my credit and my app, my Experian apps goes, you know, it just tells me, hey, Honda pulled your credit. It's going out like, oh, I'm like, I felt it. He comes back and he gives me the worst offer anyone can ever give anyone. And when I say it's horrible, I mean, it was like sticker price or like it was like twelve, thirteen thousand dollar offer on a used car with like a two hundred dollar payment a month at a ten percent rate. You guys, when I saw that, I was like, no, I'm not doing this. He was like. I don't even think I took a second to look at it. I saw numbers and I was like, no. And he's like, okay, well, um, let me go to, to my manager. I was like, okay, that's fine. I looked at bed. I was like, what the hell? What, what, what is this? And he's like, it's just the game. You got to go with it. So then, you know, we start going offer through offer through offer. I think we ended up going through five offers when... Um, the manager finally came in and he's like, look, you guys, you guys are being unreasonable. And he, and I was just like, well, I want a 4% APR and I want a $150 monthly payment. And he's like, well, if you want the car cheaper, then buy it cash. I was like, He's like, we're in a pandemic and we can't just give you the car. And in my head, I'm like thinking, this asshole. And I'm like, and in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, I can buy this car cash. I really do have the money. I got my emergency fund and I got my shop savings. I'm like, I can do that. But I'm not going to do that in this pandemic, you know. So my sassy ass came out. And I was just like, well, then I, I'm, I'm not going to buy the car. And then that's when the manager was like, you have to work with us, work with us. And I was like, okay. And I'm like, then what are these aftermarket stuff? They're like an aftermarket like thing that said like a panel or something. It was like $400 additional. And I was like, what is this? And he's like, let me show you. So he walks me over to one of the brand new cars that they have right next to, you know, one of the cubicles. And he's like, it's this. They're basically like clear vinyl stickers that are behind the door handle and on the side panel of the doors and he's like this prevents the car from scratching from normal wear you know every time you open it or if it gets near a car you know it won't scratch I was like well I don't want that and then the sales guy was like well it comes with all the cars already there's nothing we can do and I was like well then I don't want it I don't want that that's just ridiculous and the <laughs> Then the manager was like, okay, we'll take it off the offer and then we'll just we'll just go ahead and remake another offer. He's like, but you got to work with us. And I was like, well, like I said, I want a 4%, $150 payment. I'm like, that is it. I can't, you know, it's just, it, it, we're in a pandemic. So then he goes back and then they pull my credit score four more times. They pulled it for Wells Fargo, for Capital One something like ally uh, alliant or ally bank and who knows what other one but it was four of them and bay was like can't you lock your credit score and i was like no you gotta pay for that and i was like it's fine they already pulled it like there's nothing i can do so then they finally come back and they finally offer me you know an offer that i was okay with bay wasn't happy with it but i was just like you know what I like it. I'm comfortable with it. So they basically, I can't really show you anything, but they basically give you this um, paper and it has your information here. It has the breakdown of the price right here and it has your um, payment stuff right around here. I don't know if you can see it see through. I can't show you because it's like, um, let me see if I can fold it. There we go. Um, because it has my information. But anywho, we came down to the price because they were trying to offer it for 13 twelve thousand dollars you get I me mean, i was like there's no way i'm gonna do that so at the end uh we settled for no aftermarket charges which was those vinyl things <sighs> all right um and we did it for nine thousand six hundred and nineteen dollars and thirty two cents for a 66 month period at a hundred and sixty seven and thirty one cent payment so let me show you right here and it ended up being a 4.99 percent bay was very unhappy with that and i was like you know what i don't care so that was 
my um, my offer. And um, they're like, okay, great. What's your down deposit? And I was like, I know I had I had two almost two grand in the bank for my new car. If you guys haven't seen that, I've been you know doing my car fund, but I knew I needed car insurance, full coverage car insurance. And I knew that the, you know, the first month payment of the car was going to come soon. So I was like, I only gave them 1500 and I kept like a four to $500 buffer for myself. So I was like 1500 and he's like, okay, good. <sighs> you guys, when I tell you that my down deposit basically got eaten up by taxes, that's literally all they went for taxes. It was, let me see. It was about a thousand dollars in state and local taxes, eighty-five dollars in document fees, license and other fees, a hundred and three, and like fifteen dollars worth of registration transfer. That was my whole down deposit. It got eaten alive basically. So we're like, okay, he's like, sign here. So I signed and he's like, um, debit, cash or credit. And I was like, my debit. I had my sinking funds in like Betterment. I have a Betterment account, a checking account. So that's where I keep um, my car fund at. So he's like, what is Betterment? And I was like, it's just an online checking banking account, but you have your debit card. He's like, okay. So I swiped and they, he, they took the $1,500. Cool. Next, they're like, okay, well, she's going to take you to the back. I was like, what? So this lady, my God, most conceited lady I've ever met. I'm not trying to shame any girl. There's no shame. But like this lady was really stuck up. Okay. I'm just going to say it out there. You know what I'm talking about. And she's like, okay, let's go to the back. I was like, all right. So we walked to her office, tiny little office. And then she starts breaking down our contract. She's like, okay, um, this is going to be your finance amount at this APR uh, for this many months. And then she started asking us if we want gap insurance and that our car came with six month warranty. And if I wanted to buy extended warranty. And then me and Bay were kind of going back and forth. And we kind of like just settled down that at the rate that I'm going in my debt free journey, I would be able to get my car paid off in seven months after paying, you know, my personal loan. And right after, you know, my student loan. And he's like, nah, you're okay. Like, you know, six months would be great. He's, um, the warranty be, be fine. So you don't need any add-ons. So we didn't do any add-ons, especially at the rate that I was planning or I am, I am planning on paying off my car. And then Babe kind of noticed that she, he was like, you could have gotten a one more percent down from your interest rate. And I was like, you know what? It's an, it's a 1%. I'm like, at the end, I might even just refinance it again with my credit union because they'll offer me something better. You get me? So I was like, I don't care. Um, I was like, I just really wanted the car. So he's like, all right, all right. He's like, it's you. This is the car certificate. They were trying to sell it to me at that price. I don't think you'll be able to see it plus fees and taxes i was like excuse me so it's a 2014 honda civic lx and it came with 83,000 miles 83,800 miles but i ended up financing it for nine thousand six hundred and nineteen dollars and 32 cents for 66 months i had to do all this paperwork with the lady she went over our contract our warranty our uh our fees my decline for um for all that other crap that i didn't want on top um that i got insurance on it which i did i did get insurance through my normal um insurance company that i have to work so now i have two cars under my name and i have two cars under you know registered on me i got the carfax and if you guys are wondering, this was based on my credit score of 747. So I went in there with basically $2,000 and a credit score of 747, even though Experian told me I had a credit score of 767. When they pulled my score, it was 747. So I have a new car. Now, 
I won't actually show you the car today because it's already late. We were there forever, you guys. I think I had the appointment to pick up these glasses at 12 or 12.30. I came home and it was like maybe like close to one and we drove to the dealership. And we didn't come out of there until 5 o'clock. 5 or 6 o'clock. So it took a minute. We were there for a minute. And... I mean, I don't mind wearing a mask or anything, but you get hot. You you know, you're just talking a lot and you're all muffled and everyone, you know, you're just trying to be safe in this COVID situation. So um, they wash the car. Uh, that's one of the things that we were also waiting for. We, uh, we were waiting for the car to get washed, but we were also waiting for me to actually get a hold of my insurance company because it was taking so long because, like, you know, it's all automated. I was trying to get through to an associate so they can, like, add on my policy. Which, by the way, I, I had to get full coverage. Um, uh, it came down to a $500 deductible in case, you know, something happens. That'll be my deductible um, to pay before, you know, anything else gets covered. And, yeah. Came with one key. Bay was pretty mad about that. He said I should have gotten two keys. But, you know what? I told him it's a used car. There's nothing I can do. You know, it comes as is. So, um, I'm happy with it. Um... He says that um, I should get it tinted because it doesn't have tint on the front um, wind visor, whatever, uh, windshield visor, like I do on my other one. And But he says that the wheels are great. Wheels are great. The only thing that we notice after coming home is that one of the lights is like kind of brand new and the other one's kind of like foggy-ish and kind of old, so whatever it is. I did notice that there's kind of small cosmetic like scratches on it, but it's a 2014 Honda, so I didn't really care. Um, but when he opened the hood, I kind of realized like, yeah, this looks exactly like the layout of my car. Just, it looks just better. So, um, I kind of know how my car looks and what I'm looking at. And, you know, since I'm already used to repairing Hondas, like this is nothing new to me. So I'm pretty happy about that. I did ask him when I will actually get the title of my car. And Beb told me that it'll take like about two months for it to arrive to me. So they an actually ended up putting like a sticker on the sh windshield that has like all the information on my car. But he's like, after you get your registration, make sure you take that off. I was like, all right, all right, whatever you guys want me to do. So uh, yeah, I will go ahead and insert a clip after this of um, the car like that when I show you, you know, there's actually a lot of sunlight. It's like in the bright of day, not like already in the evening. But yeah, I am really happy with my decision. Honestly, Ken Ken just, he scared me, okay? He scared me. I thought I was going to baby Jesus. I'm telling y'all. But I'm happy I did have my fund. I'm happy I got the car I wanted, literally. Um, I will post a clip of what my old car used to look like. Uh, we went to go drop it off at my parents' house already. He, my dad wanted his car back, so I just gave it to him. So um, we parked it so if I can get like a close-up of what the car looks All like. Right, you guys, so this is Ken Ken. I don't know if you guys knew, but I had a blue Honda. You can see the paint is completely messed up. <laughs> and then we go over here. Sorry, my dogs are trampling me over. This is the one accident I had when I first got this car by my dad. I rammed into a gate. Um, tomorrow I will film like how it looks in the inside. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. But yeah, I bought a new car. I will make a video on the update of my debt because I will include it for August. I'm always transparent, you guys. This has just happened in my debt-free journey. Of course, everyone can buy their car cash. I'm not against that, um, but it was just in the in the works for me. It just wasn't. Um, but I am happy with how much I financed it for. It wasn't ridiculous. It's not a car that's out of my price range or anything. But um, yeah, let's roll on into the vlog a couple of days from now. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is my brand new car. It's a Honda. Look at this beauty. So let's show you the inside. How she be looking in the inside. 
She be looking cute, honey. So something new that this car has that I never, ever had is that it has an econ, econ thing. So basically you press that and it saves you gas. I have all these buttons here. So um, this changes from like Bluetooth to radio, AM, FM, whatever. And then I have the volume here. Like what? This changes like um, stuff in my screen, like in case I need to see something. Um, menu, I can receive calls. So I haven't figured this out yet. This is like something super new to me. Um, I don't even know what this is to be honest, no freaking clue. Um, I'm used to having my radio right here and these buttons, so this is a lot of extra. I got my AC, of course, and then up here is where, um, let me turn on my car because it's actually pretty hot here in LA, so it's still key starter. It's not a push to start, but you see right there's my odometer. Whatever, and right here is supposed to be like the backup camera or something. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but yeah, you can see like there's my Bluetooth. But yeah, anyway, that's that. Like that's intense, you guys. I've never had that. I have my aux cable, which basically I don't need anymore because I have Bluetooth, but I do have my charging port here um, where is I plug my stuff. This is like um, a compartment there. And I have a change there, whatnot. This is the passenger side. I have my Clorox wipes. I like wipe down everything. My bag, and I already like filled the back with stuff. I always have my plushies in here because when I worked at four in the morning, I would sleep in my car and those would be my pillows. And yeah, it's pretty empty. I got a return there. Very spacious in the back. Nothing really much to look back there. But yeah, this is my 2014. Honda Civic and it's so funny now the reason why it's so funny is because um, when I went to go show my car to um, my family and stuff they didn't know I got a new car they're like what that so my car is new to me but to them it's like oh I thought this was already your car and it's like no it's an upgrade it's like a eight year upgrade so I don't know if they were expecting me to have like this big flashy car but you know me being here like a budgeter and stuff like hell no that's not gonna happen like I'm making sure I, I accumulate the least amount of debt which by the way yes it's gonna increase my debt yes it's gonna push back my debt freedom but honestly I don't care. I'd rather not have to go through fearing for my life at all ever again. So I know people are going to have different opinions and stuff. And I already have like a goal in mind. Like after finishing off my credit union, I swear I only want to take seven months to pay off this car. Like I'm not going to last more than seven months in, in, in paying off this car. Like there's no way because... Why, why would I want to do that? Like, I don't want to have a car payment looming over me. But I just can't get over, like, the reactions of my um, parents where they just didn't believe, like, I upgraded my car. Because it's like, or, like, even my sister. I, like, pulled up to my sister's house. I was like, what up, homies? Or, like, what up, bitches? We going to the mall. And she's like, what happened? Why you call me? And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, what happened? And I'm like... She's like, oh my god, you got a new car. No one noticed until like I kind of pointed it out. So I was like, I was like, I, I'm like, I don't know what y'all expected from me. I'm not gonna get like this friggin' bomb ass car that I can't afford. But anywho, yeah, that, I'm happy, you guys. Uh, I just, it's just, I don't know. When you go through some shit like that, you're just like, no, mm -mm, we're not gonna do this. So anywho. I don't know what to name my car. I told my boyfriend, I'm like, this is going to be Ken Ken 2.0 or GPS. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah. And, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. If you have any questions about my car purchase or what happened or how it actually went, if you have any more of those questions, let me know down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer because I know buying a car as a girl, you going in, it's kind of scary. It's kind of intimidating. And it's not something normal or something I'm ever used to. So um, yeah. I love him and I love it, uh, the process. So yeah, I have car. 
is here and oh i love it all right thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>